Hello and welcome to the Titus Time Out podcast. I'm Jenny Abney Sivy, and last week I covered some details on VAV box minimum calculations. So that brought up a discussion on VAV box minimum and maximum CFMs with respect to damper positions. So this week I wanted to talk about that. So after the engineer has done all the load calculations for the space, decided what the minimum and maximum CFMs are for the VAV box, everything is ordered and installed, it comes time to commission the boxes. As part of the commissioning process, the field guy may want to test all the dampers in the system. So let's draw our field guide and a thermostat and connect it to the VAV box. And put a control box on there too. Okay. So now he goes to the thermostat and turns it all the way down, expecting it to go full open because the space is now way warmer than the set point. So let's draw in a box and this is full open here. Then he goes and runs the set point all the way up, hoping to get the box to go full closed because now the space is way colder than the set point he just selected. And if the damper doesn't go full open or full close, he thinks something went wrong. So let's move this over and look at what happened. So what he might be forgetting here is that most VAV boxes are pressure independent and the VAV box controller is set to control from a minimum CFM to a maximum CFM, not from damper open to close. I'll put a link to the Pressure Independent podcast in the notes if you need a full explanation, but here's a quick refresher. A pressure independent VAV box has a flow sensor that measures the pressure in the box and allows the controller to modulate the damper to compensate for changes in the pressure in the system. So at any given CFM, let's call it CFM1, if the pressure in the system goes up, the damper is going to close down to maintain CFM1. That's how pressure independent VAV boxes work. So let's go back to our guy in the field. Let's say the VAV box was selected with one inch of inlet pressure, a minimum CFM of 300 CFM, and a maximum of 1,000 CFM. In a perfect world, you'd have one inch inlet on the box in the field, and you would get your minimum CFM when the damper is almost full closed, and you would get your maximum CFM when the damper is almost full open. I'll get to why it's almost full open in a minute. So let's say the space is 75 degrees. So if the inlet pressure is one inch, when he turns the thermostat all the way down, say to 65 degrees, and the space is 75 degrees, the controller thinks it needs more air to cool down the space, and it'll drive the damper to maximum CFM, which at this one inch pressure would be almost full open. And when he turns the thermostat to 85 degrees, the box controller sees that the space is 75 degrees, that's way too cold, and will drive the box to minimum CFM not fully closed. But what happens if your inlet pressure isn't one inch? Let's move him out of the way and look at that. Let's say you have an inch and a half inlet pressure. Now when you turn the thermostat to 85 degrees, the box is still going to want to go to its minimum CFM of 300, but it won't have to open the damper nearly as much to provide 300 CFM. And same thing when you turn down to 65 degrees. You're still going to go to your maximum CFM of 1,000, but your damper will be less open than it was in our one inch situation above. And now let's look at the other side of that. Say you only have half an inch inlet pressure. Now you turn up to 85 degrees, but your damper has to open more to provide you the same 300 CFM minimum. 
And then on your maximum side, you, when you turn your thermostat down to 65 degrees, the damper is going to open more than it did in the original case of one inch to try to get the airflow. And here it may be full open. This is why I said the damper should be almost open in your design condition. If you select the box so that full open is maximum CFM, you don't have any room to open the damper anymore if your inlet static pressure is lower than the pressure you selected it at, and you may starve your box for air. This is why you can't just turn the thermostat all the way down and all the way up to see the damper go from full open to full close. In fact, unless the minimum CFM is zero, which really shouldn't happen in an occupied space, you'll probably never see a VAV box damper go full closed. The only way to really do this is to go through the controller and specifically tell the box to drive the damper open and close. So now you know why the minimum and maximum CFMs on a VAV box don't always equate to full closed and full open. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for taking the time out with us.